When Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium is broken, evolution in the population will occur. When the pressures are from the environment, it's called natural selection. It's the gradual process by which heritable traits become either more or less common in a population because of pressure from the environment. But what are these pressures? Examples of pressures include overpopulation, which leads to resource competition, changing environments, and predators. Truly anything that will break Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium will cause natural selection to occur. And when it does occur, there are three types of natural selection. Directional, stabilizing, and disruptive. In directional selection, individuals that display a more extreme form of a trait have a greater fitness than individuals with average form of the trait. For example, the peppered moth population of England during the Industrial Revolution had higher frequencies of darker colors because it was well camouflaged in the soot-covered trees. The lighter-colored moths would have been easily seen and eaten by birds, and if they're eaten, they can't reproduce. In stabilizing selection, individuals with the average form of the trait have the highest fitness. For example, in robin's eggs, a clutch of four eggs is best, because too few and there might not be any that survive, too many, and they may be too hard to feed and sustain. So four is the best balance. In disruptive selection, individuals with either extreme variation of a trait have greater fitness than individuals with the average form of the trait. For example, Chinook salmon males compete with each other to fertilize the female eggs. Large fish have an advantage because they're strong fighters. Smaller fish also have an advantage because they can sneak in while the large fish are fighting and fertilize the eggs without being seen. Now, medium fish aren't big enough to fight and win, and they're too big to sneak in without getting caught. So it pays to be extreme in this case. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.